last of the Tuesday Soto reviews. Uh, if you do not know, <laughs> I um, I have been doing reviews of sodas every Tuesday for a while now, around noon. Uh, it's a little bit after noon this time, but that's because of the game. But uh, that's because my off days on my at my job have been Monday and Tuesday. Monday, I have off with my wife, and we go and get chores done and explore and do whatever, go out to eat for lunch. Um, so I don't stream on Mondays. But uh, my schedule is changing at work. I've got a new route, so my off days are no longer Monday and Tuesday. They, starting next week, will be Wednesday and Thursday. So, while I'll no longer have a Tuesday soda review... I will probably have either a Wednesday or Thursday soda review. So really, the only thing is, is that uh, it's changing one day of the week. So if you're if you're watching on Twitch, that means it'll be a different day of the week. If you're watching the video on YouTube, it probably won't matter to you at all. So, um, but this is this is today's soda. It's uh, I've had this brand before. It's somewhat common. It's it's about as common I would say around here as the um, Haritos, uh, and that's mainly because in Texas, but it's um, it's another Dublin soda, Dublin craft soda. They're pretty common, like I say. There's a lot of them, um, a lot of them in the grocery stores here. Different flavors. Uh, it's actually a cola. This time, a lot of times, and I've said this before, but I think a lot of times the craft sodas, like if you look at craft beer, it seems like every craft beer is an IPA. It's like it's, I don't know if it's easy to make or if people actually like it, but it seems way overdone. Just about any time you see a craft beer, it's an IPA. Oh, look, another IPA. Well, it seems like a lot of times if you see a craft soda, it's either a root beer or a cream soda. So I thought it was kind of interesting that this was actually a vintage cola. And they've got kind of the old old style look there and it's um it's a uh, kind of it kind of reminds me of like an old car, like a 1950s car, like a an old Cadillac or Chevrolet or something. So um it's made in Dublin, Texas. That's kind of their thing. Always made with pure cane sugar. And um says Dublin, what does it say? My eyes are bad, so I have to use my light sometimes. Dublin, Dublin Bottling Works since 1891. So the company's been around a while. It's, it's a little bit after Coca-Cola. I think Coca-Cola was in like the 1880s or something. There's not really a whole lot on the label, honestly. There's the... Uh, it's got a website, DublinBottlingWorks.com. The nutritional information, which I don't ever care about. Uh, on the other side here, it does have the contents. I always read off the contents. This one contains carbonated water, pure cane sugar, caramel color, phosphoric acid, natural flavors, and caffeine. This actually lists caffeine as a as a uh, ingredient, so it is caffeinated. I do. That is one thing I want to try, though. Yeah, I'm going to go in here. Bear with me just a second. I'm going to turn off some things. And see if it gives me a better sound as far as... Probably a worse sound for my voice. Because I'm definitely peeking out there some. Um, but maybe a better sound for the soda opening. But um, the cap has kind of the normal Dublin, Texas cap. If you can read that or not. Um, there's not really much to it, though, other than that. The normal refunds. It's got a best buy date of uh, February 1st, 2023. So we're within plenty of um, plenty of time for that. So let's go ahead and, I guess, open her up. See what we got. Like I say, I've, I turned some filters off. So hopefully this... I'll turn them back on after I open it. But I wanted to see if this helped with the opening sound some. Oh, that should have been good. That should have been real good. That was loud. That was a good one. Nothing under the cap. So, all right. Um, the old smell test. It smells just like a cola. 
it does it it doesn't smell like I don't know, I think Coke and Pepsi kind of have their own smell. Um, other sodas, other colas, like if you drink like an RC cola or like a, it's like a store brand cola, I think it has kind of a different smell. It kind of smells like the latter of those two. It doesn't smell... Let's give it a taste. Very carbonated. Very fizzy. It's not bad. It's, it's not really remarkable, though. Um, tastes kind of Coca-Cola. Tastes kind of Pepsi. Tastes kind of just generic cola, really, though, honestly. Um, it's definitely one that you would not mistake for a Coke or Pepsi. I think... Maybe about like an RC. It's not super sweet. It does have the pure cane sugar, but it's not super sweet. So maybe it just doesn't have a lot of the pure cane sugar. Um... It's a decent soda. Uh, it's, I mean, it's got the cola coloring. It's got a clear bottle, so you can see the coloring real good. Uh, that caramel coloring. I saw something recently that said like people were worried about caramel coloring. I don't know if that was real or not, or if it was some uh, don't trust anybody weirdo stuff. Nothing on the bottom of the bottle. I did get this at just a, ro a local grocery store. This was not like a specialty soda shop or anything that I got this at. This was, uh, I think, just a regular Tom Thumb or something, maybe Kroger. Or, no, you, uh, take that back. This was actually at, um, um, oh, crap, HEB is like upscale market. Uh, Central Market. Central Market was where I got this. It's a, It's related to HEB. If you're familiar with the grocery HEB grocery store chain, it's kind of a South Central Texas uh, grocery store chain. They are going to open up some in uh, North Texas in, here in the Dallas area. I think they're going to be opening two HEBs pretty soon. But um, their Central Market um, stores have already been here for a little while. So that's where I got this at Central Market. So being, being that I bought it from Central Market, this probably cost $100 or something. It's, they're really expensive there. But yeah, this is pretty good. I mean, it's it's a basic soda. It's not it's basic but basic cola. It's not uh, it's not outstanding. It's not standing out to me. It's not going crazy. It's not blowing my skirt up or anything. So, um, kind of average, really. So I'm probably gonna say it's what is my average decent soda score? Uh, probably around a seven. Seven, seven and a half, seven. I think a seven. I'm going to say a seven. Seven for Dublin. Sevens for Dublin Vintage Cola. I'm not sure exactly where Dublin, Texas is, but I need to look that up sometime. It's probably someplace like close to San Antonio or something, maybe. I don't even know. I think Dr. Pepper's from Waco, so. As you may or may not know, I mean, I quit soda. I kept drinking sodas other than... Uh, my weekly soda review. This is the only soda I've had. I think I've had all week. Like even when I'm going to like McDonald's or something now, I get their iced tea. So it's, it's, and it's one of those things like my wife was saying, you know, you still put, you still drink sweet tea. So it's not like you're cutting back on sugar. You've replaced the soda with the tea. So, and yeah, I get that, but baby steps, baby steps. I mean, I'm a, I'm a fat old man, so.